Okay, 71 again is a work problem. Work problems are fairly straightforward, okay? They talk about how long it takes multiple entities to do a job individually and then try to figure out how long it would take them together or it gives you the time together and wants them to do it, um, find out their individuals. Okay, number 71 says uh, Mason can build a wall in nine hours less than an apprentice. Um, together, they can build the wall in six hours. How long would it take the apprentice working alone? So they want to know how long the apprentice is going to work alone, okay? What I need here, I need each person's rate. Okay, so I take the rate of work times the time work, and that's how much of the job they get done. So for the mason, I need his rate and his time, okay? For the apprentice, I need his rate and his time, okay? And then they're gonna finish with one job. Now, the rate, what they tell us in 71 is they say a mason can build it in nine hours less than an apprentice. So I'm gonna let X equal the mason's rate, okay? So his rate of work of getting it down is one over X. Okay, I'll pause for a second. Does that make sense to everybody? If I can do a job in three hours, I get one third of the job done every hour. So my rate of work is one third. If you can do a job in seven hours, your rate of work is one seventh, okay? Now the apprentice takes nine hours longer. So his rate of work is one over X plus nine. Okay, they're gonna work together to do one job. Um, they say that they can do the job together in six hours. So the time they work is six. So this equation actually becomes six over X plus six over X plus nine equals one. So the rate of work multiplied by how long they work, okay? Multiply by the common denominators, which is going to be x times x plus 9. And I get 6 times x plus 9 plus 6 times x equals x squared plus 9x. Okay, so 6x plus 54. Okay, get everything to one side. I'm going to pause the video and just solve it out here so the video will drop again. Okay, so I just went through and solved it out, multiplied by the common denominator, okay? Moved everything to one side, factored it, and solved. Okay, now what they want to know is how long it would take the apprentice to work alone. Well, X is the mason's rate. The apprentice takes nine hours longer. So the mason would take nine hours to do it alone. The apprentice is 18 hours. Okay, so the apprentice would have to take 18 hours to do it alone. 